Come here. Come here. Come here. Get him. Get him. You're about to discover the most unique and amazing neighborhood in all of Colorado Springs. It is the heart of Colorado Springs. And it stretches all the way from Austin Bluffs down to Milton E. Proby, from Union on the west to Powers on the east. It is an enormous area. So stick around because there's a lot to cover today. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna have Francis taking you on a driving tour of Village 7. Chris is gonna take you around Rustic Hills, which is where all the old doctors used to live. And then uh, Sam and I are also gonna take you through some new builds down in the southeast corner by the airport. We're also gonna be bopping around Palmer Park, which is the biggest freaking park in all of Colorado Springs. So a lot of people think that there is not affordable housing in Colorado Springs, but that's not, that's not closer than like 40 minutes away, but they're wrong. This is in the center of town, close to a ton of amenities. It's affordable and it's by incredible open space. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right. Does anybody have any personal stories of Palmer Park? I've run here a bunch. Yeah, same. I did it. I did uh, like engagement photos up here once. Then got unengaged. Okay, so now that you're oriented to where we are, I am physically in Palmer Park, and this place is so freaking rad. It's like 730 acres, which is just a, an enormous space right smack dab in the middle of Colorado Springs. Now, up here, it is pretty awesome because, first off, when you're living in this giant neighborhood that we've just outlined for you, this is a space where you can come and you just, you immediately feel like you're in Colorado. I mean, look at it. You got incredible views of Pikes Peak back there, big rock formations everywhere. There's trails that run all throughout here, trees, plants, animals. You'll, you will definitely see, obviously, birds everywhere, but you'll definitely see mule deer running around in here. And it's just a really peaceful, tranquil place. We come up here all the time with the dogs um, to, to run the trails. There's the dog park that we were at just a little bit ago. Um, people will mountain bike up here, ride normal bikes. You can actually horseback ride up here too, which is pretty cool. Um, this is one little pull up. So this is the first parking lot that we're in right now. But there's also, as you continue up the main road through the Palmer Park area, there's other bigger open lots. There's big meadows because you can get good views of the city. So 4th of July timeframe, they'll come up here as well to see fireworks pretty much everywhere. Proximity to Palmer Park is a really big seller for the houses around here. There's obviously the little schools and the playgrounds. There's baseball diamonds down there, big open fields. Those things are really cool too, but people, when they come to Colorado, they're really looking for trails, trees, places to get outside on their bikes and hike and walk. And this is a space that you can do that and feel kind of like you're in the mountains without having to go all the way across town and drive out into the mountains. You can really get that feel here. So Palmer Park, 10 out of 10 recommend. Now, Francis is about to take us through Village 7. So if you wanna live close to Palmer Park and you wanna have that really real good proximity to also a bunch of amenities and stores and shops and groceries and all those kinds of things, well, Francis is about to show you a really excellent neighborhood, Village 7. Let's turn it over to him. All right, so as Kyle said, we're gonna be taking you through the Village 7 neighborhood before. Now this neighborhood is located right off of Constitution, so you're super conveniently located in between Powers and Academy. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. But as far as the neighborhood is concerned, you're gonna find a little bit of everything. Actually, the median list price here in Village 7 is 417. Now, if you compare that to Colorado Springs in general, Colorado Springs is at 455 right now. So you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck out here. Now, I've been taking some clients through this neighborhood recently, and one of the things that I noticed is, is those homes that are priced in that lower 400s bracket haven't been updated as much. So you could, you know, you're gonna have a better chance at finding a good deal out here. And if you're willing and have the budget to put some, you know, update the property, make it, you know, a little bit more you, you're gonna be able to force some equity in and really get a home that feels like home. Now, as you can see around me, you do have some really nice walking trails 
throughout the neighborhood. And even though it's like 28 degrees out here, he is driving fast. <laughs> um, even though it's 28 degrees out here, we've seen some, some people walking around with their dogs. You've got sidewalks going through all of the neighborhood. So it's extremely walkable. And like I said, you're really, really close to Powers. Uh, you've got some nice evergreens throughout. You know, a lot of these homes are gonna be built in the 1960s and 1980s. So you're gonna see a lot of split level homes. That was a really popular floor plan uh, during those, those decades. Uh, but yeah, I mean, great value. I've worked with an investor out here that flipped a couple homes in this neighborhood. So you are gonna be able to find some really good deals. And if Kyle doesn't kill me, I'm about to show you the uh, Powers Corridor Shopping Center, which is also the largest, or it's actually called First and Main. It's the largest shopping center in Colorado Springs. All right, so I'm standing here at the corner of Powers and Constitution, right next to the largest shopping center in Colorado Springs, it's First and Main Shopping Center. Plus you've got uh, Costco right here, you've got Lowe's, you've got Sprouts. So you've got all of the major conveniences that you really want right next to your house. I mean, literally a three minute drive from that neighborhood that we were just driving through. You've also got the movie theater. You've got just pretty much everything under the sun, five minutes from your house, which I don't know about you, I'm all about conveniences. So when I'm shopping for a home, that's definitely something that I'm looking at. All right, so that is really the Village 7 neighborhood off of Constitution. Now we're gonna head over to Chris. He's gonna do a little driving tour of the Rustic Hills neighborhood. All right, so this is another little section of town in East Colorado Springs, super, super unique. So we're gonna see a lot of stuff today that's gonna be kind of your normal city lots, you know, kind of smaller backyards, that kind of thing. This area right here, it's called Rustic Hills. So we're right just south of Constitution between Academy and Powers. And this spot is super cool. We sold a number of homes back here. I've had a handful of clients that have bought in here specifically for the reason they wanted to be in the middle of town, but they wanted to be on a big lot. So these, it's crazy, because this you're talking two to four acre lots. A lot of the roads we drive on back here, they're dirt roads, a lot of horse properties. It's amazing to me that right in the middle of town there are horse properties, you know. But what you gotta remember is this didn't always used to be the middle of town. This used to be kind of on the far eastern edge of town. So now, there's a lot of houses that were built in the 70s that are being remodeled. They haven't scraped any houses here. Most of them have just been remodeled. So bigger homes, you know, that 3,500 square feet plus, and then there's a mix, kind of the section we're driving through right now, the homes are a little bit smaller, probably like 2,500 to 3,000 square feet. And now we're down in kind of like the acre size lot. So you've got a lot, a lot of range in Rustic Hills and the price points vary drastically. A home that's been remodeled in here, you're talking probably, actually there's one that, um, that sold over on Lazy R for 1.4 million. It was a two and a half acre lot, fully restored, home was beautiful. That's kind of the high end of it. You don't see a whole lot of those. Most of them are gonna be seven to 800,000. And again, it depends on how much remodeling has been done. But man, there's just a ton of opportunity. If you want kind of that almost rural feel, but you wanna be in the middle of town close to everything, Rustic Hills is definitely a place to check out. Not a lot comes on the market though, for sure. Southeast Colorado Springs does have some pretty amazing new build options. There's not a lot of them, but we are at the Ascent at Skyview Community by Challenger Homes. We're gonna check out the model so you can see all the cool, beautiful, wonderful finishes inside. Yep, that's right. Sticking with the concept of affordability, let's go check this thing out because I don't think you're gonna be able to believe what you're gonna be able to get at this price range down here. So let's go. Sam. I bet. Did you not coordinate? <laughs> uh, They're not even open till one. Can we go look at the community, I guess? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go see one of the houses at least. Okay. And then uh, we'll come back and check out the model. I know the model is infinitely better, as yeah. they always are, because it's at least staged yeah. and it's got all the bells and whistles. But right. Let's go check out that other house first and then we'll just come back to it. Let's roll. So even in Southeast Colorado Springs, there are some new build options. We're gonna show you some today. You saw we tried to get into the model. It's still closed, but don't worry. We're gonna show it to you guys. Gotta hang tight so you can see all the bells and whistles in the pretty model. But we at least wanna show you guys some of the available homes, at least one of them here. This is Ascent at Skyview by Challenger Homes. So you can see still a lot of construction going on. There's about probably, I'd say two streets worth of houses that have been completed and moved in, but still a ton of construction here, but it's an awesome area because you're talking $400,000 for a brand new house and challenger homes little shout out to them they're giving a special financing offer i think it's a four 
I think it's 4.9% financing is what they're offering right now if you go through their lender. So definitely some good options. So we'll kind of cruise down the street and then Sam's gonna give you guys a tour of one of the houses that is available for sale right now. All right, Sam's inside. He's getting ready to give you guys the tour, but I did want to mention real quick also just another great thing about this community is proximity. You're real close to Powers Boulevard, right, I don't want to say right across the street from the airport, but super close to the airport. You're off of Milton Proby Highway, which is a super good, it's kind of like one of those main east-west arteries across the south side of Colorado Springs. Uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center is right across the street. There's a big new commercial kind of like a defense industry complex that's going in just south of the airport. So proximity to Peterson Space, uh, Peterson Space Space Force Base, Fort Carson, a lot of good access from this specific community. So that's another great thing about Ascendant Skyview here. Let's go check this thing out. Three bed, two and a half bath. So down here, kind of boring part, it's just a garage and uh, the mech room and a coat closet. Um, as you saw, these are all kind of built in that big tall row style. Um, so up here is gonna be all your main living. It's got a half bath on this main floor and then tons of just wide open space in here. When we were outside, I did not think that it was gonna feel this open in here, but like tons of just functional, open, well laid out space down here. Got a really nice kitchen, stone countertops, beautiful tile backsplash, a nice appliance package. Let's go check out the upstairs. So as you can imagine, this is all your bedroom space up here. So you do have small, Pretty small, pretty tight, full bathroom up here. Come check this thing out, because this is very interesting. <laughs> Once you get in there, it's like super close quarters there, but you still got a full bath right here. So plenty of space, super convenient, right off the other bedrooms here. Let's go check out those bedrooms. All right, two secondary bedrooms on your right and left, and then into your spacious master and this model actually has a pretty sweet view of like the entire southern front range i can kind of just catch peaks of the spanish peaks down there that was a really bad pun that was totally unintended um but come on in let's check out this master bath so nothing crazy, but like still totally well appointed. Um, you got a really nice size walk-in here. Um, not a separate water closet, which I prefer, but you know, most of these builds are gonna be in that low 400s range. So, you know, this is honestly super nice for, you know, kind of that range. And you're, you know, like Chris mentioned, still super convenient access to everything. Really nice home. Um, totally brand new, but still puts you in that neighborhood where you're super convenient access to everything. So let's go check out the model. Okay, well, since Sam forgot to coordinate and now he's on the phone with the client, I have finally coordinated and we brought Chris back over. So he's gonna walk us through the model. And obviously the model is gonna be a little bit gucci -er. It's gonna be a little bit nicer. Um, and this is also a different floor model, so, or floor plan rather. So. Chris is here and he is ready to take us through the, the Elbert. Let's check it out. So like Kyle just said, the Elbert model by Challenger Homes. Lower floor, this is kind of the main level. So when you come in, you come into a flex room and a little entry area, yeah. office, playroom, whatever you want it to be. Also on the main level, ground level, you've got the garage. A lot of people don't know this, but whenever you go to new builds, the sales office is usually set up in the garage. So ah. hey, you buy that model home. You get a finished garage. Not a bad oh, that's deal. pretty rad. They're gonna put a garage door in there, obviously. If you're, yeah, I think I would like mudroom this thing. You could do like a large mudroom drop room area. God, yeah, sick. definitely. Most of this floor plan, the best part I would say, is on the main level, or what? Well, I call it the main level, but it's really the second floor up. Okay, because the last one it looked pretty small. This one, oh, not small dang. at all. So here you've got huge Whoa. kitchen area and a huge great room area all together. This kitchen, wow. I know it's hard to see in the video. Kitchen, man, this thing's like 16 by 17, probably. Yeah, this is huge. Quartz Maybe. countertops, five burner gas range, definitely an upgrade in the model. Yeah. Nice subway tile backsplash, shaker style cabinets. I mean, the model's decked out, it usually is, right? That's kind of what we expect in the model home. No, that is super nice. Like, it does not feel, I mean, that's like a big luxury kitchen. Like, it's it really, is, really yeah. nice feeling kitchen. And when you come up the steps, it's like, bam, it's like yeah. right in your face. Yeah. Like, Holy cow, that's a nice kitchen. And then, like I said, it's not like you're sacrificing your living room with the kitchen. This living room is probably 
I mean, this thing's probably 20 by 20, I bet. Yeah. I mean, they've got two full-size stuffy couches in here, big TV, and it still feels very, very open. It's not tight at all. Yeah, I love that. There and was also, there's like pantry space over here, so you've got yeah, your- Yeah, you've got big pantry space, yeah, and you've got your washer and dryer as well, kind of a small mudroom washer, washer dryer room. So yeah, the main level, I feel like this is the highlight of this house. For sure. I really do. I mean, you guys, we're gonna see the bedrooms upstairs, but man, this main level, it's where you're gonna spend 90% of your time to, right? I mean, it's it's kind of the place you're gonna be hanging out. Um, yeah, you do have good. a powder bath as well, which okay. it might not seem like a big thing, but hey, it's nice. You don't have to have your guests go upstairs, go to a bedroom. Okay, well, so I was in a house recently and uh, the main level was like this. It's like a, a tri-floor and the there was not, a bathroom on the main level. So like you have people you're entertaining. It's you kind of awkward, over right? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, just go upstairs to find the bathroom. Did I, I put was, my toothbrush away? I don't know. Now, I will say I, I have to. Let's talk about it, man. Okay, we got to talk, talk about, about it. it. So. I think this is probably the biggest. It's the biggest name, drug, right? Yeah. It is. So you do have a mobile home park that, that joins this community. So now there are lots in this community that do not back to the mobile home park, but this specific one does, this row where the model is. It is a negative, but you've also got some pretty good views of Pikes Peak as well. So it's kind of a pro and a con. Yeah, check that out. And it's a, it's kind of an overcast day today too. So I'll zoom all the way in on it. Boom! Ooh. There she is. What's up, girl? Looking spicy out there. Okay. So this house, you've got three bedrooms. You yeah. got a large master and then two secondary bedrooms. So yeah. let's check out the primary first. Mm. I want to see the other two first. I like, okay. I like saving let's the master. Let's do it, man. I all like right, we're gonna save the, the best for last. So. So we've got two, like I said, two secondary bedrooms. Are they huge? No, they're not. But at this price point, you're not gonna get these huge luxury en suites. But in all honesty, as you can see, they've got a stage with a crib. It's great for an infant. You could definitely put a twin or a full in here and be just fine. Yeah. So your kiddos, I mean, I mean, I would say even teenagers, whatever, they're gonna be fine in this room. It's actually pretty decent. It's about a 12 by 12 foot bedroom. All right, so the second one, it's pretty much an exact mirror of the first secondary bedroom. Got some bunk beds in here. Not a walk-in closet, but you got a little bit of storage space. Again, these are kids' bedrooms. You know, don't think of it as like an ensuite. You know, um, in the house, it's definitely it's a kids' bedroom. Yeah, I mean, um, it's like but, as big as my bedroom was when I was growing up. <laughs> like twice as big as the one I had, man. But yeah, twelve foot by twelve foot, full bathroom. That you know, those extra bedrooms are going to share. Nice tile work. Again, this is the model, so tile work's not going to be quite the same in the other houses unless you opt for it. Yeah. Classic camera in the mirror shot there. I like that. Hi. All right. All right. You ready? All right, Chris. We'll let's do. See let's do the master now. So, this bedroom, it's got a king size bed in it. I mean, you got a ton of space in here. You got about three and a half feet on each side of the bed, so you can put your nightstands. Plenty of room. They even have a chair in here. Little reading, kind of little, you know, read your when you wake up, drink your coffee. It's a big room, man. And then you've got a really nice bathroom too. You got a nice walk-in closet. Now I'm gonna say. I don't know about the shelving in this closet. Okay. Even for the model, I feel like this should have a little bit better shelving in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. There's like a. Do you like it's have, a big room, man. You have right? like a rack here. Yeah. And then you have like these little racks. I kind of am disappointed that it's like all wire. It's racks, the wire shelving their, too, right? Even yeah, in the I mean, model. So, but you've got the space. I think that's the key. You got the space. It's yeah. just eh, you could put a little bit better closet system in there. Now it is for mica tops. You don't have solid surface stone in the bathrooms, but again, we're talking at a price point that's extremely competitive in this market. Not a five piece, you don't have a tub in here, but you do have a stand up shower, which I think for 95% of people, they're really not using the tub too much anyway. So it makes a lot of well, sense. Well, that's bigger than my shower. My shower is literally the width of this like you're door. you're like barely spinning around in circles. Yeah, yeah, which is like super annoying. So I appreciate that it's like at least that extended yeah. So. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I said, there's some pretty freaking amazing prices on these houses right now. The builder is also doing special financing. So Challenger Homes right now is, I think it's still 4.99% compared to 7%, that's huge. I say, I think it's 4.99. That's another reason you definitely, if you have some interest, definitely reach out to us. You don't wanna just go straight to the builder rep. You wanna make sure you reach out to us so somebody's representing you and you get all the latest information. Make sure you're working with the most up Well, this is true. So a lot of people don't know this, but they think that like, oh, I'll just go to the sales office and they'll just represent me and it'll be mm, way better yeah. and it'll save me a bunch of money. First of all, no, it won't because your sales office or the builder, they're gonna pay your buyer's agent commission fee anyway, anyway. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But in this situation, 
you know, you got to realize that the builder rep or the sales rep that you're talking to is representing the seller. So in this case, they're representing Challenger or Classic or Vantage or whoever it is. And they have the best interest typically of the company. They're trying to do a deal, but they're sort of representing both of you. So if you really want the best situation, my experience has been when I've taken clients to, to builders, like it's the only way to negotiate with builders. You get a little extra minis usually out of it. Yeah. You do because like, all we're trying to say here is it is definitely a valuable thing to have somebody representing you when you're looking at a new build. So if you're moving out here, actually, you'll probably want something like that. But this area, so I want you to see what else is kind of around this area. Sam is actually gonna hop in his car and he's gonna take you over towards Panorama Park, yeah. which is a park that's really, really close to here. And he's gonna take you around that neighborhood so that you can see part of just this general yeah, area. Older, the older homes in the neighborhood, yeah. Yeah, it's Definitely. pretty awesome. So let's pop it over to Sam. All right, so we are down in, I kind of call this the Jet Wing neighborhood, but it's kind of right off of Jet Wing and Fountain. Um, really unique little neighborhood down here. You'll see there's a ton of older homes really up in this kind of quadrant of the area. It's gonna be a lot of you know early to mid 80s builds lot smaller homes. Um, I've taken a lot of clients to the area and you know one of the comments I get a lot of the time is like just some weird kind of layouts and things like that in these homes but what clients do love about the area is the affordability down here and also the ridiculous convenience of this area. So we're driving by right now the Southeast and Armed Services um, YMCA really cool YMCA in the city. Uh, I think it kind of rivals the downtown one because uh, they got a pool, a giant indoor pool, a pretty big fitness center, after school programs, a rock climbing gym, like all sorts of stuff. And then right around here in this area too, you have, I mean, you could grow up in this area and go to every single school within a five minute drive of your house, maybe a five minute drive. There's tons of kids out walking around today, walking on their lunch break. We're actually right over by Sierra High School. Um, but you got Sierra High School right in the area. Um, man, what is the, the middle school that's right over here? I think it's Panorama Middle School. Um, Bricker Elementary, uh, Giberson Elementary, like just tons and tons of convenience all throughout the area right here. Um, so the big reason that a ton of people move in is the convenience and the affordability. Really, you're kind of talking, right now, most stuff in this area is kind of listed in the mid to high threes. Um, so again, just super, super affordable, super convenient. Um, but as you can see, driving through the neighborhood, it tends to be a little bit older down here. Now, the further south we go, um, there's gonna be some newer development going on in the area. And those are kind of gonna start in those high threes, low fours, um, I've also seen in this area a lot of investors coming in and kind of revamping things um, over the years. Um, so you'll see a lot of homes that have been flipped really nicely and, and look really nice and um, you know have some great value there too. So um, yeah, that's kind of kind of this area. I kind of call it the jet wing area. If you know what it is in the in the comment section, throw it down in the comment section. Um, but now we're gonna head back over to uh, Panorama Park and show you kind of the anchor piece of this neighborhood. Francis is gonna kind of show you the anchor piece of this neighborhood, which I think is one of the best parts about this neighborhood. All right, we are standing in Panorama Park. As you can see behind me, exceptional views of the mountain from here. This park was recently redone. The city put about eight and a half million dollars into fully finishing out this park. Uh, one of the unique features of this park, I think, pretty cool, is it's actually like a universally accessible park. So meaning, no matter if you're fully abled or maybe disabled, you can still enjoy some of the amenities here at this park. So obviously you've got the playground, you've got this nice little amphitheater that I'm standing at that'll have you know live music from time to time or you know, just come out with your guitar and jam out for anybody listening. Um, they do have a skate park. There is a pump track here. They've got slides. There's a picnic area. I mean, you've got really pretty much anything you could possibly want at a park right here in Panorama Park. Uh, 
Yeah, this is, that is a sketchy slide. I'm gonna send it. All right, you rolling? Rolling. Oh, you don't go down very fast. Whoa. All right, you guys, so that is Eastern Colorado Springs. We took you through different neighborhoods here, showed you sh the first and main shopping center. You got to see some new builds. So now really the question is, is this a neighborhood that you can see yourself living in? If you need a little bit more information, definitely be sure to reach out. We get calls, texts, emails from you guys every single day. And we love just, you know, helping you find the area to live or maybe check off some boxes that, you know, it's not quite the area for you. Anyways, we'll see you on the next video.